Hi, my name is George Garcia. Welcome to the Guided Tour of Eagle, Video 2, Drawing a Schematic. So there are two ways we can start a new schematic. One easy way is to just go File, New, Schematic. But in accordance with what's usually the preferred method to work in Eagle, since we started already a project, let's go ahead and create a new schematic for this project. Right-click, New, Schematic. So you can see this is a basic layout for the schematic editor. And we can start adding in components by using the add command. As mentioned previously, Eagle ships with hundreds of libraries. And there are many components that we can choose in order to complete our designs. So let's say, for example, we want to bring in an LM555 timer. We can go into the linear library and simply select the 555 timer. Let's say this one. As you can see, it's floating on our mouse cursor. We can rotate it by right-clicking. We can place it by left-clicking. And you'll notice that the command continues to stay active, so we can place as many of these as we want. Additionally, we can mirror by clicking our scroll wheel. OK. Now, there are other components, obviously, we would want to add. So for example, we could add in a resistor from the RCL library. Now I'm going to bring in just a simple 0805 surface mount resistor. So I'm going to place this here. Now we obviously don't need the rest of these 555 timers, so we can go ahead and remove them using the delete command. Now let's take a few moments and learn how we can modify our components. So one of the simplest ways is using the info command, which is the lowercase letter i. It'll show us all of the properties of our component. Depending on the component, we'll get different properties that we can adjust. Additionally, all of the commands that you can perform in Eagle are accessible through a right-click menu. So near the snap point of the part, if you just right-click, you'll see all of the various actions that we can perform on that component. Now let's go ahead and form some connections. The easiest way to form a connection is using the net command. OK, this is the proper command to use when making connections in the Eagle schematic. You may see wire. Wire should really only be used for artistic purposes, so avoid using wire. The correct command is net. So we use net. And by virtue of the fact that we are on grid and we're using a 0.1 inch grid, connections are very simple to make. OK, it's very important in the schematic editor to not deviate from the 0.1 inch grid spacing. You can change the units to metric, which would put you at 2.54 millimeters, but do not change the value of that spacing. The reason for it is that all of the components that ship with Eagle are made to that spacing. If you deviate from it, you're going to have difficulties getting things to connect properly. So this is it for Guided Tour Video 2, Drawing a Schematic. Thank you very much, and have a great day.